to be ranked at cheerleaders for bringing us back into game time. All right, Alpine and new head coach Stacy Martin have struggled of late. The Fighting Bucks have lost their last five games, including their first four in district play. Tonight they were looking for win number one in 2-2A against Kermit. By the way, did you see the, the mascot there on the bump doing the... Was, that was, Red Devil was a scary was, mascot. Yeah, That's cool. First quarter, Alpine knocking on the door. Evan Moore taking the ball and flipping himself into the end zone for the Buck touchdown. Be a Seven top play nominee. Alpine probably is. Alpine trying to add to their lead, but can't hold on to the ball. That's kind of important. Kermit would capitalize on the ensuing drive. BJ Thompson taking it in for the score, tying it up at seven, just like that. Alpine not finished yet. Second quarter, Evan Moore going to the air this time rather than deciding to go flipping through the air, finding Ryan Ellis for the touchdown and putting the Bucks up by a count of 14 to seven. Fighting Bucks would go on to get their first district win tonight. Congrats to them, 34 to 14. Staying in the 2A ranks tonight, a good matchup at Buffalo Stadium as the Stanton Buffaloes hosted the four sand buffaloes at Buffalo Stadium. That's a lot of buffaloes, Lee. I don't know what else to say right there. Fourth quarter, Stanton's Blake Evans is going to take the handoff. He's going to take this one. 22 yards, makes a nice cut outside. Which, which stadium is that again? I believe it's Buffalo Stadium. <laughs> Game's first score, and it's 7 nothing. Stanton. Next possession, Stanton would be at it again this time. Spencer Cortez, my favorite play, the 30 trap, hand it straight up the middle right behind the center. He'd take it for a nice game, get brought down inside the 20-yard line. That would set up this Lee Blake Evans, his second touchdown of the game. He's going to take the pitch and make a nice cut back inside for the score. 14 nothing Buffaloes at that point. Stanton Buffaloes. Which Buffaloes? I was going to say. For San, though, trying to get back in it. Brendan Roman is going to make the touchdown pitch right here. Nice cut back. He's a big boy with beeline straight for the end zone for the score. 14 7 at that point. And the Buffaloes win. Hope you had that. 42 20. The Stanton Buffaloes, that is. All right. Moving to Garden City, Bearcats hosting Rankin. At home, middle of the first quarter, Rankin is up 16-0, but the Bearcats showing why they won the state title. Josh Kalunga taking it up the side, turns on the Jets for the Bearcats score. They're now down 16 sticks. Next possession for Garden City, it's Kalunga again for the short touchdown run, making it 16-13. Rankin, start of the second quarter, who else? Josh Kalunga switching directions, picking up big yards. Next play here as he'll finally get dragged oh, down. Talk a little slower. He's going. <laughs> He's still going. He's hey, there he down. goes. Next play, Reggie Halfman would take it in, diving, or get rather giving Garden City. Geez, look like these sometimes. Giving their first lead of the game, 19-16. And they still put a Benjamin on the board. Final count tonight, 102 to, fi uh, to 53. Man, I'm all over the place on that <laughs> it's one. It's that time again. Time where we drop the gloves in the edit base to see which highlight will make the cut as this week's number one play. That's right, it wasn't an easy choice, it never really is, but after searching through all the highlights, here is this week's play of the week. There we go. This is your Lithia Motors play of the week. All this right. Week Oh, go ahead, Lee. All right, well, thank it. you. This week's play of the week comes from Alpine. You know, we can do this together. This we is called giving 110% on the play. First quarter of action, Alpine on the doorstep, and Evan Moore decides that not only going over, but also around and through the air and somersaulting would be the best <laughs> way to get in the end zone. I'm sure his coach was probably a little iffy about doing the somersault. He flips yeah. over defender and in for six points. Yeah, that's a strong contender for best play of the year, but, of course, we'll have to wait and see. Still got one more week in the regular season to go. And we are only halfway through tonight's show. Still much more on the way. That's right, Trevor, including your full Permian Basin scoreboard coming up after this short timeout. 